Hello everyone. Let us find a solution to this interesting question. x minus 1 to the power of 4 equal to x plus 2 to the power of 4. I saw this question today in my Facebook group. So let's get started. I would like to do a kind of substitution here. So let a be equal to x minus 1 and b be equal to x plus 2. Just to simplify our work. So this is a to the power of 4. And you may decide to bring this one to the left, which is going to make it negative b to the power of 4. And this is equal to 0, right? Uh, we can change this to difference of two squares because this can be written as a squared whole squared minus b squared whole squared again equal to 0. Now we have difference of two squares. You take the first one without this power. You minus the second one without the external power. So this is a squared minus b squared then multiply by a squared plus b squared this is equal to zero all right this is difference of two squares again we can write it as a minus b multiplied by a plus b you know this is sum of two squares how do we factorize it you have to introduce complex number right so this will be a minus bi multiplied by a plus bi. This is equal to 0. All right. We have four factors. Let us set each to be equal to 0. It implies that either a minus b equal to 0, a plus b equals 0, a minus bi equals 0, and lastly, a plus bi equals 0. So let's start with the first one, a minus b equal to 0. Remember, a is x minus 1. So we have uh, the first case, x minus 1, the minus, right, minus b, minus b is x plus 2. This is equal to 0. Once you expand, you have x minus x, which is 0. The minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. So we only have minus 3 here equal to 0, which is not true. Then let us take the second case where we have x minus 1 as a, then plus b, which is x plus 2, equal to 0. x and x will give us 2x. Minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1, equal to 0. Take 1 to the other side, it becomes negative 1. Divide both sides by 2, you have x equal to negative 1 divided by 2. So this is one solution. Then we'll move to the complex values um, where we have a minus bi equal to 0. But a is what? x minus 1 minus b is x plus 2 multiplied by i equal to 0, right? This is x minus 1 minus xi minus 2i equal to 0. Let us bring the x's together. We have x minus xi, the minus 1 minus 2i equal to 0. I would like to take these two terms to the other side, which is going to transform them to positive 1 plus 2i. And the left-hand side, we have x in common. Bring the x outside. Inside, we have 1 minus i. Divide both sides by 1 minus i. So x will be equal to 1 plus 2i divided by 1 minus i. To rationalize the bottom, you can multiply the top by 1 plus i, the bottom by 1 plus i, the conjugate of the bottom, right? So to the top, we have 1 times 1 is 1, then 1 times i is i, then you take the second term here, 2i times 1 is 2i, then 2 i times i will give us 2i squared, which is negative 2, divide by. Uh, the bottom is difference of 2 squares, right? That is 1 squared minus i squared. To the top, we have 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Then i plus 2i is positive 3i. Divide by. 1 squared is 1. i squared is negative 1. So we have 1 minus minus 1, which is 1 plus 1 equal to 2. All right, so this is x. But one thing you should know is that 
the two equations are conjugate of each other, right? These two. Therefore, their solutions will be conjugate of each other as well. So even the second um, problem where we have A plus BI, the solution, if you substitute, X will be equal to minus 1. Instead of this plus, you have minus 3i divided by 2. So we have three solutions all together. We have 1 here, 2 here, and lastly, we have another one here. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.